नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम यू आर वाचिंग अवर चैनल एसी एस्ट्रो एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द वीनस एक्सल्टेशन व्हिच इज गोइंग टू हैपन ऑन 15th फेब 2023 एंड हाउ द लिब्रा एसेंडेंट पीपल इज गोइंग टू गेट बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दिस ब्यूटीफुल एक्सल्टेशन फॉर ऑल दिस एनालिसिस लेट्स वेलकम आकाश चौहान फ्रॉम कैलगरी कनाडा ही इज विद अस आकाश जी नमस्कार प्लीज गाइड लिब्रा एसेंडेंट पीपल थैंक यू रोहित जी एंड सो द प्रेडिक्शन फॉर लिब्रा एसेंडेंट इज वेरी गुड end of video <laughs> for libra ascendant what is the ascendant lord ascendant lord is what rajji definitely venus yes and it is in the 6th house now here i will tell general things about uh, the libra ascendant libra ascendant people are very beautiful in fact all the ascendant people are very beautiful for for special libra ascendant people have something some kind of magnetic energy in their eyes they attract people in fact when you talk to them you suddenly become so mesmerized when you're talking to them so this is what they the general quality they hold 99% of libra ascendants 1% there may be exceptions because if there is a very dusht planet sitting there but on the other way for libra ascendant lord venus rules their two houses that is the first the lagna the self the body the physical appearance the ego the mental state everything related to the first house is what you say ruled by venus and second is the eighth house the house of knowledge the house of deep knowledge the house of research the house of inheritance so you know what such libra ascendants are very blessed to be born mostly in very rich families very very rich families because they get a lot of inheritance because it is the sec- the taurus ascendant taurus sign is ruled in the 8th house so moving on venus is sitting in the 6th house and what is the 6th house the 6th house is called the shatru sthan or the ari bhav in vedic astrology it is the place where your enemies your health your court cases your legal litigations and many type of diseases which you can't even imagine like very it is a house of sickness base regular sickness and right now as we are talking three major what you say powerful planets are sitting in this house Well, the Jupiter is his own house in this house in this uh, house right now in the sixth house of uh, Libra ascendant. Rahu Dev is here, and now Shukra Dev is doing a gochar. So you know Shukra Dev is doing a high five with Rahu and with uh, Jupiter because it has a very big karmic debt it had to pay to Jupiter. That is why it be- became exalted here, and on the same way it has. very good friendship with rahu if you see any rahu or venus yuti in any chart you will understand that that people are so blessed that they are getting material wealth as well as the material lord is sitting with the lord of sanjeevani so all their life they will get material wealth <clears throat> the sixth house also belongs to your daily choices that you make the choices that you make on daily basis that oh today i want to do this do that the x y z let's go let's get up let's go to work this is all the choice which happens from the 6th house so it is said that rahu in the 6th sitting in the 6th house is impossible to defeat you cannot defeat any person like if they are going through a court case they are going through a health thing their will power will be so big their kripa will be so big that they will be they can't be won no one can win them at all and here rahu is sitting here venus is sitting here jupiter is sitting here venus will give you extreme benefit results to this house and because it has a karmic debt with jupiter and what is that i am going to tell you here you will not know you will know that venus is exalted here but why is it exalted why a planet that is the the gurus of demons exalted in a place which is the guru of 
Devatas, the guru of gods, very big story behind it. So what happened once? The uh, Lord uh, uh, Venus was called the Lord of Sanjeevani. That means he can give life to anyone. And here we can see that everything relates to life. Everything related to the start of life is done by Shukra, Venus. The sperm in Vedic language is called Shukranu. It goes into the mother's womb and meets with the egg. And then is when a birth or a life happens. So everything is done by Lord Venus, right? And Venus rules the um, the nakshatra of Bharani. What is the nakshatra of Bharani? The Bharani is the womb. It is the bearer. It is from where we come into this world. So Venus rules our entry to this world. And Jupiter rules our exit to this world. We have to be very clear here this, in this thing. So because Shukra was Sanjeevani and in the ancient times when God and demons used to fight, what, what, what used to happen? The God used to kill one demon and in the evening Shukra they would drink and have fun and then put hand on the demon and get him to life because of his Sanjeevani Vidya. And the gods were like, to, yeah, last night we killed him and today he's again here, again fighting us. So they went to Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, Pratidev. And they said, the guys, boss, this is not done. Every time we kill some demon and some Shukradev gets them again back to action. So Lord said, yeah, this is right. But uh, Shukradev has that Vardhan and we cannot get away from it. He has that Vardhan. So now he has to be, he is doing right. He is not doing anything wrong. So they said, what do we do? So they said, oh, you know what? Let's send Jupiter's son to Shukracharya and let him learn that what is this Vidya. And once he learns, then we will use it on Devtas and we will do the same thing. So Jupiter's son goes, Lord Shukracharya accepts him that, okay, come, don't worry, I will teach you because you have come to me and Guru never says no. We have to understand here a very big meaning. Guru cannot say no. Anyone who has taken sannyasa or who is in guru position or who is here to teach will never say no to you unless and until his motive is in this current world to make money. Like I know few people who are charging hundred of like two thousand, three thousand dollars to teach you astrology. So that is like very stupid. You can take like a book of in you can take a Kindle subscription for five dollars a month and read and learn. But they feel that they are very superior. God have mercy on them. So, <clears throat> here what happened? Jupiter's son started learning that how I will how I will pursue this and he started, he showed a lot of dedication, he started learning Sanjeevni Vidya. But what demons did, they trapped him, they kidnapped him and they killed him and they burned him into ashes so that there is no scope for Shukracharya to bring him back to life. And they put the ash very different places and also in the drinks of um, Shukracharya and he gave them and when he had it he's like oh my god what have I done he ran to Lord Shiva and he said Lord Shiva I did what very big mistake but Lord Shiva was in Dhyana he was in meditation so Shukracharya started meditating Lord Shiva after 12,000 years Lord Shiva got up and said what happened Shukra he said I did this mistake he said you did a very big mistake I know about it now you have to do the Prayaschit for that I am giving you and I am very happy with your devotion I am giving you a Mahamrityunja mantra. With this mantra, you can get him back by also doing a small procedure. That is a Gupt procedure. That is a hidden procedure. No one knows about it. Otherwise, we would be just getting dead people back to life. And once that was done, Jupiter's son was resurrected. He was back with this Vidya. And then it was given to Lord Jupiter. And Venus, Lord Shukracharya said that Jupiter, because I kept you bereft of a son for 12,000 years, so now in your 12th house, I'm going to go sit and become exalted there and give this beautiful gift of knowledge, wisdom and material wealth and gain and anything which you can expect in life, happiness from this exaltation. So wherever and whichever place Venus will sit, it will give you a beautiful result in terms of this exaltation. So this is the story that how Lord Venus Roiji became exalted in this house and 
how he gives positive results to everyone in this in this kali yuga and more universes and more galaxies to come everywhere where this combination happens it will give you very pious and good results so we need to honor this we need to honor this sacrifice of jupiter's sun we need to honor the sacrifice of venus of shukra dev to do this meditation for 12000 years to get the get the mantra of mahamrityunjay that simple mantra is the mantra which can which has magical powers so i would say that do mahamrityunjay mantra whenever if someone is sick in your family and has a timely and has an untimely death situation you cannot do this for a person who is 90 years old because you know we have to understand that there is a life span which god which god has given us and beyond 90 years if you want to keep someone alive then he will be suffering we don't want him to suffer we want him to leave this body and enter into the abode world of world of god to the heaven or hell if he deserves so now we have to understand that venus here gives beautiful results related to sixth house that is your shatru and everything he will just everything will become your what you say the best point for you and from here it will put a neat drishti because every uch planet every planet is exalted puts a deviation drishti on the seventh house from its placement every planet has the seventh house drishti here it will put the seventh house or drishti on the 12th house and 12th house is the house of loss is the house of unnecessary expenditure the house of jail is the house of uh, prison uh, uh, what you say foreign land it is the house of uh, uh, hospitals so do lot of good work for someone who is in hospital maybe somewhere if someone in the hospital you go and buy them medicines if you can afford if someone is doing uh, if going through some loss help them give some money give something which you have so that give them food so that they they make their 12th house so good that your 12th house says that no he did something related to this house for someone else let me give him good benefits so overall we have to understand that we have to not fall into scandalous approach anything that scandal or anything that is uh, unethical is seen from the 12th house because it is a loss of your status also it is not only loss of money this loss is loss of your status loss of your health loss of your freedom that is why jail loss of your uh, happiness in your homeland that is why you go to foreign countries from this house so it there's loss has a very wide meaning but people have considered loss of money only <laughs> so this is the analysis for libra ascendant people and how this transit is going to be so so beneficial for them that i wish very good luck to them very good luck. and i uh, request you to close your video with the uh, one mantra yes rohit ji so now shukradev is very big upasak of mahalakshmi and mahalakshmi mantra which i would like to say is that it's a tantric mantra and this is very important to understand that all the dhanas that all the um demons they wanted to take mahalakshmi in their kingdoms in their place so that they could have lot of wealth so that they can do all the bad things they can drink have adultery and all the kind of stuff so mahalakshmi in this form used to be very happy with them and that is this mantra Om Shreem Reem Shreem Kamale Kamalale Prasidha Prasidha Om Shreem Reem Shreem Mahalakshmi Namaha Now everyone would ask me that how do we do this mantra how many times do we chant one time also enough 108 times also enough thousand and eight times also enough depends on the devotion from which you will be chanting this mantra devotion is very important 
and those people who cannot go such long and understand or they are from foreign countries with different language to do not know they can just say shreem s h r e e m shreem 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 it is like if your name is david i call you hey david and you will just look back hey what happened same way if you do shreem 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 mala you will say that someone is trying to take my name and someone is trying to call me so i need to uh, here is prayer so rohit this is the mantra and this is the analysis for yes very beautiful analysis and thanks for this powerful mantra we all will do this and uh, yes there are all these mantras available on youtube if you yeah, can't yeah, even yeah. write this stream then you can just put that mantra as akash always said tell alexa to do that mantra you can going in car you can also tune that on youtube and listen that mantra thank you very much for this beautiful video akash ji thank you very much to ac astro family who is growing daily and giving very good response thank you very much we'll meet you in another video with analysis of another ascendant till then jai shri ram jai hanuman jai mata di jai ma